have the fantastic job of telling Oshawa's past. When you hear someone tell a story about a time and a place, it really brings objects to life. Well, Oshawa certainly has changed. I think the, that's shown through the downtown. One of the notable things about Oshawa was it was one of the few cities around or towns that had uh, a major railway running through the middle of town servicing all the local industries. And I think a big thing that the museums work on is stories and sharing stories. The Oshawa Community Museum is one of Oshawa's best kept secrets and really it shouldn't be. is still there, they don't know what to do with it, but in this day it was the place to be. I'm a co-op student here at the museum. I didn't know about the museum before I came here, so when I came here I learned so much about what was going on in Oshawa, and then I got to take part in it. So basically, we're taking Victorians and we're making them do the things that we would do, like taking selfies or duck clips. Year-round, the Oshawa Museum offers tours, not only of the site, but we will also go out in the community and do downtown walking tours or cemetery tours. We've got two feature events. One of them is International Archaeology Day. Archaeology has told us that people have lived in Oshawa since the 1400s. We're really lucky that we have artifacts that are on display permanently, and a day like this is a day that we get to showcase it. One of our favorite events that people enjoy coming to is our Victorian teas. Uh, we host them in Guy House, and it's set up with three-tiered plates with sandwiches, scones, and desserts. We also have our annual lamplight tour, and the annual lamplight tour is a celebration of Christmas. And quite often their traditions help shape how we celebrate Christmas today, so it's always a fun event. So at least once a week we have a visitor ask us if there are ghosts here at the museum. It's probably our most popular question. Are the museum buildings haunted? I myself had not had any experience, but I've been fortunate to participate in three kind of ghost hunts and ghost investigations at our site. We are upstairs in the Henry House, and in this room people have claimed to see a little girl. We basically keep these stories now and, and share them because people love to hear ghost stories. Well, we're fortunate. We have a very wonderful team at the museum. We've got four full-time staff and two part-time staff. You can see that we enjoy working together based on the fact that uh, at least four of us have been here for 15 years or more. For many that may not realize, we are open all year long and if you're going for a walk in the park, one of the best places to stop in would be to come see us and take a tour. It only takes 45 minutes. Admissions by donation and uh, come in for a cup of coffee or hot chocolate or tea. Come to the Oshawa Community Museum where Oshawa's history resides.